So if I got back into real estate today with what's out there, I'm telling you, it'd be game over. It'd be game over for a lot of you realtors out there. I would take your business. I'd take your lunch money. And I don't say that aggressive at you, but I do. Because I was a machine with no technology, like a true machine. It was, it, I, put, I was slinging homes left and right, helping buyers and sellers and building up a big business. Take what we have now, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, Facebook, you know, campaigns, ads, take all of that, guys, I promise you, I would be putting my own business on steroids in 2016 of what I did five, seven, eight years ago. It would be insane. And so I think the biggest thing we can look at is the market's changed and we have to adapt, right? We have to adapt to the technology in our hands because what's gonna happen is the technology is gonna continue to innovate at this fast speed. Guys, fast speed, I mean, look at this. Guys, look at this, look at this, look. This was my file in 2009, right? 2009, this was my file, an old file. These things are gone now. They, they don't exist. In some brokerages, I know they do. But in the majority of the brokerages, that does not exist. That world is gone. And that was in 2009. So I want you to see and take a look at this as the market is shifting in a technology world for real estate at a very fast pace. Technology all in general is going very fast. But let's talk about real estate on how fast it's, innovation is happening. You need to focus on how you can take advantage of it because you will get lost. That is, my, that is my SOS to you is you're going to get lost in this technology world in real estate if you cannot hang. And what I mean is you have to be a practitioner. So don't say, well, Tyler, what do I do? What do you mean hang? What, what are you talking about? Go out there and look at all the technology tools and start to use them. Don't, now don't say, Tyler, I used them all and now I don't have buyers and sellers because so I'm not prospecting. No, I need you to do that in addition to prospecting. Prospecting is still there because you still have to feed, feed you know, your, your business with, with, with buyers and seller leads, right? And, and referrals. But I'm telling you is be a practitioner because you don't want to get lost. If you're looking to retire in a year or two, cool. Don't listen to this. Turn off right now. But I, the majority of you that are watching, I promise you, you're looking for a long-term business. You're looking to grow this. You're not looking to be out of the business in a year or two years or three years. And if that's you, you need to embrace change. You have to embrace it. So this is my challenge to you, right? Look at the technology platforms out there. Use them for 30 days. Pick one and use it for 30 days and be consistent with it and be a practitioner and say, you know what, I'm gonna learn it. I'm gonna learn the Facebook campaigns. I'm gonna learn how to market on Facebook. I'm gonna put myself out there and play with this Facebook Live thing. Like, I'm going to do these things for 30 days. 30 days straight, don't miss a day, and then make an opinion about it. Because I see you guys talk, all this noise. You know what, technology won't replace the relationship. You're right, it won't replace the relationship. But technology is gonna help advance and, and, and help you cultivate that relationship. Because I can tell you, back in the day when you saw people belly to belly, that was very normal, right? And I'm talking to a lot of vets now. It was normal to go see them. Right now, I'm not saying to not see them, but you're gonna to have to use technology to help stay in front of them, to stay at the top of their mind. And so that's just my, 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 my call to you, is embrace change, um, don't be afraid, try it out. What's, what, what's gonna happen, the worst case is, you don't have a million followers. They're not gonna be like, who's this goofball? They're gonna be like, whoa, this person's putting themselves out there and I can relate, or I wanna know more. Or you know what, I haven't seen Sally in a year and a half. She hasn't reached out to me. Good for her, she's doing great. She just Facebook Live to home inspection. Like, think about that. What do you have to lose by embracing technology? And so uh, I'm gonna end here because uh, I'm gonna go embrace technology myself and uh, I, I suggest you do the same. Ciao.